In this tutorial, we are going to learn two new command, commit and rollback. Here you can see a dummy employee table. Here you can see a employee name Sophia. I want to change her salary, seven hundred fifty to eight hundred dollar. So if we want to update a table data, we need to run update command, and we learn about it in our previous video. For this, we need to type update table name, and then we need to use set command, our column name, and we need to provide the new value. At last, we need to use where clause to identify the exact value. After running update command, I observe it run by mistake. I want to update this data for another employee, so we need to revert this table. Now we have two solution. We can run the same update command to fix this problem. Otherwise, we can run rollback command. Suppose you by mistake run insert command, and we need to resolve this problem, so we can run rollback command. Just simply, we need to type rollback and semicolon to end this line. It going to revert our execution. If we use insert update and delete command, it's going to revert this command. And I want to tell you one thing: all the SQL command will be revert before the rollback. Let me show you another example. Before this update command, I run another update command, and similarly we update employee salary. But if I run rollback command, it going to rollback all the update commands. But I want to rollback. Only for Sophia, and you can see her ID is three, and I don't want to roll back Jacob's salary update. To solve this problem, we use another command, name commit. Basically, commit save all the previous line of code. Let me show you how it's work. First, update command execute for Jacob, and then it run commit command. Means it going to save this record permanently. Then mistakenly I update Sophia's salary, and now I want to roll back this command. So we need to execute the rollback command. That's it. Now the question is, does rollback command work on every SQL command? No, it's not. It's just only work on three command. These three commands are insert, update, and delete. And we learn about insert and update command in our previous videos. And in our upcoming video, I'm going to teach you delete command. So let's start the practical and see how it's work. And I already start Apache and MySQL on my Zem control panel. And now I am going to create the connection, and I am going to hover on my connection name and double click on it. Here you can see a table name employee. If I show you the table, you can see there are six dummy data in this table. But if you work on MySQL Workbench application, then you need to go Edit section. Here you can see an option named Preference. You need to open this option, and then you need to go SQL Execution. Here you can see a option new connection use auto commit mode. Just you need to uncheck it. If we do not uncheck it, it automatically run commit command. Then we cannot roll back our execution. That's why we need to uncheck it. And then you need to click OK. That's it. And then you need to restart your MySQL Workbench application. So once again, I'm going to create the connection. And I'm going to show you my table. And now I'm going to use a command. Which is commit. So I'm going to type commit. Commit means all the changes that happened before it going to save our code. I use it because when I insert a new data or update a new data, I want to roll back to previous state. And here I'm going to use update command. So I'm going to type update, and I'm going to update Smith salary thousand to fifteen hundred, and I'm going to run the same command which I run which I run in my previous video. Update table name employee set, and then we need to provide the column name, which is salary, equal to fifteen hundred. And now we need to run where clause where name equal to Smith. Then semicolon to end the line. But now I want to tell you one thing. First, you need to click on the commit command. After click this command, you need to execute this icon. It's mean it's going to execute only this command. Not whole command. Just you need to click on the fourth button, not execution. So I'm going to click on it. It's mean it's going to commit our whole command, and then I'm going to click our next command, which is update. And similarly, I'm going to click on it. And similarly, I'm going to click on this icon. Let's click. Here you can see it update our data. And similarly, similarly, if I execute our first select command only, here you can see the table, and you can see Smith salary increased by five hundred dollar. But I did it by mistake, and now I want to roll back our table. 
So I'm going to use rollback command. So I'm going to type rollback and semicolon to end the line. So I'm going to click on the rollback command and I'm going to execute only rollback command. So I'm going to click on the fourth icon. That's it. Now our data is rollback. If I show you my table, here you can see Smith's salary has returned to its former place. So you can see we made a change inside our database but we roll back it again. The help of rollback command. Let's show you another example. So I'm going to select the code and duplicate these lines. And now I want to update employee age, Emily age, set age and her age is 29. Her name is Emily. So first I'm going to run commit command. And then I'm going to update Emily age. Here you can see it update Emily age 29. And also I'm going to change Smith's salary to 1900. And also I'm going to run this command. So I'm going to execute it. Here we successfully run our two update commands. And if I show you my table, here you can see Emily's age is 29 and Smith's salary is 1900. And now I want to roll back it. So I select this command and execute this command. And if I show you my table once again, here you can see, you can see it's back to its former position. So let's understand how rollback work. So first it's going to work on this command. So it's going to revert it. Then it's work for this command. And also it's going to revert it. And rollback command is not able to revert commit command. The commands above the commit rollback won't work on them. So let me show you the similar example once again. So I'm going to move this code above the commit command. First I'm going to update Emily age. So I'm going to execute this command. And then I'm going to run commit command. And now I want to update Smith salary. So I execute this command. So if I show you my table, here you can see it update our data. Smith salary is 1900 and Emily age is 29. But if I roll back this command, it's going to revert only this update, but it not work on this command. So let's roll back it. So let's roll back it. And if I show you my table once again, here you can see it roll back Smith's salary. Smith's salary back to his own state. But you can see our rollback command is not work on Emily's update. So rollback work upwards. If it get commit command, then it's not going to execute all the code above the commit. Commit means permanent save. And you need to remember one thing. Rollback works on only three SQL command. Insert, update and delete. I hope now it's clear for you what is commit and rollback. Thanks for watching this video.